Hi, it's Lucy from budgetingandplanning.co.uk and also Donna from elevatefs.org. And we're here doing our 10 part mini series on everything to do with mortgages to clear up most people's frequently asked questions. This is episode number nine. Um, and this is the one we're gonna be talking about fixed rates ending this year. I mean, there are so, I, mean, I don't know how many thousands of people who are gonna be affected by this this year. Um, obviously two years ago or three years ago, whenever you had that fixed rate um, in place, now coming to an end this year, it's gonna look a little bit scary because those mortgage increases are gonna be uh, potentially, you know, quite a hike compared to what they used to. I mean, mine's gone up 300 pounds and that, you know, that stings, that really stings. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're sort of in that limbo period of knowing it's coming up on your horizon, you know, perhaps the next sort of three months, six months, nine months, you know it's coming, what can you do now? Okay, so the key thing is to do something yes. and not to do anything, Lucy. Um, but ultimately, um, we can secure a new fixed rate or a new rate, depending on what your, you know, what, what your thoughts are. Yeah. Um, and yeah, up to six mm -hmm. months before your current rate expires. Um, so if you're concerned, thinking, well, the rate's a little bit high right now. Um, I don't really want to choose one today, and yeah. you know, I've got a good six months before my current current rate expires. Um, what we're doing with lots of um, our clients is we're securing a new rate today with, with the lender. And if a cheaper rate becomes available with that lender within the next six months, right. um, or before the actual switch date, the majority of the lenders are allowing us to switch. So it's kind of like edging your bets, but ultimately you've secured a rate today. Yeah. So if the rates increase, you're fine, you stick where you are. Wow, okay, that's brilliant. Yeah, and if they decrease, then that's great. You know, majority of the lenders are allowing us to, to then switch onto that one. Um, and typically up to a few days, even a week before the actual switch date, we're able to sort of jump around. So it's kind of about edging your bets, but getting that security in there uh, of having a, a rate secured now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, so say so for example, yes, your new fixed rate is, I don't know, you can't even say what a typical fixed rate is at the moment because there's so many, you know, loan to value, uh, uh, obviously it has a part to play, etc. But let's just say for the sake of it, three and a half percent is, is or 3.9% is on the table today. If you kind of sort of pencil that in as something you're going to be moving on to in, in, in within the next six months, but let some, a 3.2 comes on the market with that same lender, they'll let you downgrade, that's so right. to speak. Yes, that's wow. right. Wow, okay, yeah, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if you wanted to have a look and see what that would look like in monetary terms, yeah. um, we do have a calculator on our website, um, um, elevatefs.org um, and you can put in your um, the deposit or the equity in the property and um, how much your mortgage out, outstanding balance is yeah. um, over what period of term yeah um, and it will give you it will calculate um, how much that's going to look you know what it's going to look like in payments based that's on the rate brilliant so you can say okay with you know give or take obviously but you know you can sort of say okay my mortgage is going to be 900 pounds but actually if it comes down it might be at only 870 or 850 that's so handy because again from a budgeting point of view of course when you know, i advocate longer term planning like, like, like a business does um cash flow planning you know yeah. you, you know what the next sort of six to twelve months looks like for you then nothing bites you in the ass is it when you don't really know what's going on ahead you know these things happen and you are finding yourself in hot water and it's a bit of a shock whereas at least this way you can kind of as you i think you mentioned hedging your bets i quite like that mm -hmm. um so you can plan out you know the next sort of six to twelve months as best you possibly can but also keep your your eye on it and go actually that is going to come down and that's going to release that extra bit of money there so that means we can do that and I think that's just an incredibly central way of looking at it absolutely and, and yeah. the key I can't stress in you know the importance is taking no action is the worst thing to do yes yeah so six months within the next six months then you speak to your mortgage advisor um, whoever that may be just now or obviously you know come and find Donna uh, she knows lots of stuff and you can obviously get her on elevate uh, dot f no elevatefs.org how many times have I said this? I still get it wrong. Um, so there we are. That's point number nine of our 10-part mini-series. Last one coming up.